Welcome to the Chaotic Kitchen. In this segment, we are making Christmas cookies. We're gonna make peanut butter cookies and they're actually gluten-free. We're going to use one egg, one cup of peanut butter, and one cup of sugar. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, if you don't already know, this is Deborah <laughs> and I'm Roxanne. All right, you ready? Okay, so you must get that out. You can use any um, measuring cup you want. I love these because things slide out easily. One cup, we use creamy peanut butter. I guess you could use chunky, but we like it with the creamy. This is a cup of sugar. Go ahead. And it's just regular cane sugar. Deborah's gonna incorporate it a little at a time because there isn't any flour or baking soda in here. Um, you really wanna mix it well. If we use the hand mixer, it, it mixed it too much and then the cookies kind of disintegrated. So when she's finished that, we're also gonna add one egg. You can add to it um, anything you want after they've cooled. You're gonna have to let them cool and we'll show you that because if you touch them right away, they fall apart. But if you let them cool for about 15 minutes and then you take them off the pan, they keep their integrity like they do not fall apart. They're actually delicious. And then if you wanted to dip them into chocolate, you can or sprinkle something on the top, you can, but you have to wait till they cool. All right, now I'm gonna crack the egg. All right, one egg, so it's one egg, one cup of sugar and one cup of peanut butter and I'm gonna lower the music. She's gonna work it in. And I also use a spoon. Deborah's using a spatula, which is fine. And then you just make it, mix it up. And then we put them in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. And then when they come out, I will show you what we're going to do we're next. We're back. They were in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. And we already started to roll some of the balls right here. And then you flatten them out with a fork. And we're going to show you how to do that. All right, Deb. You want to take half. It's about half of this. We don't have anything special. We did wash our hands with my organic mm -hmm. soap over there. So about half of a soup spoon. And she's going to roll it. Like a meatball. Yes. No. Yeah. Is that too big? Nope. And then what we do is we press it down with the fork one way this way, one way that way. You don't have to, but we do because then it has a better shape after it cooks. Okay, just making another one. And then you get the idea. Press it down. You can make them any size you want. I suggest that if you're going to make them this size, they're all that size, so one doesn't bake before the other. And if you're going to make them this size, the whole tray is that way. Too big. Yeah. Okay. And again, you just press it down. Some people, when it comes out, remember the whole thing is when it comes out, you cannot touch it. You have to let it cool for about 15 minutes. Some people sprinkle salt on top of it, which is fine. Some people sprinkle um, or shavings of chocolate or dip them in the chocolate. We just eat them this way. So we'll make one more. And then I will, and that's a smaller one, which is the same thing, comes out. I'm gonna put them in the oven. So we bake them at 350 for about 10 minutes. Keep your eye on them. And they look kind of just like this, like they didn't cook, which is fine. And when you take them out, they spread just a tiny bit. Leave them alone, like I said. Again, I can't say that enough because if you do touch them, they become sawdust. But if you wait, then they are a cookie and they're delicious. They're actually even chewy. We're back. I wanted to show you how easy they um, slide. All you have to do is touch them like this and they slide right off. That one's a little stuck now. And you just pick them up, put them on. After cooling for at least 15, 15 minutes. minutes. If not, they will crumble. Yes, they're delicious. Okay. All right, so Merry Christmas from our kitchen to yours. Merry Christmas.